I work in a tiny rural public health department. It's basically five women who are holding together the public health system for Clallam County. We really got thrust into the spotlight in recent years, and I think that was an uncomfortable place for many of us. We've now tested five people. We have two negatives and three pending. When the president would say that COVID wasn't real, I had to be very thoughtful in my language when I talked to the public about that because you know, the majority of my county voted for him. Much of the rest of the country was already starting to split along party lines, but we were able to hold down a little island of bipartisan work. But somewhere around last summer, when Fox News took on the anti-vaccine sentiment, we lost the public. That was really challenging. That was when our vaccine efforts stalled. It used to be that there were a lot of you know, Republican farmers who would say like, I don't, I don't trust that Fauci, but I trust you, doc. And I would, I would hold on to that. I would try to keep them on board talking to me. People who are anti-public health want you to think that they are the majority, and part of their tactic is to suggest that everyone agrees with them. But what we found here is that the majority didn't. Um, there was a pretty big kind of backlash to the backlash. People in the community really came out and they said, oh, too far. It's one thing to disagree with the public health officer. It's another thing to you know, try to hunt a single woman and her child. We actually had an election where everybody who behaved like that got voted out. Um, and so I think, there is some hope there uh, for kind of public decency.